so I had a job for 14 years uh, driving oil trucks and I lost that job six weeks after 9-11. Basically, my life's been a roller coaster ever since then. And gambling led me uh, down the path of destruction, self-destruction. And I, I just, I got so deep at one point that I, I didn't recover. I have COPD. Um, I also have a history of pulmonary embolism. And I was in need of the uh, left hip replacement. And I had already, uh, had had it verified by my doctor, but he didn't think it was a good idea for me to plan it until I had somewhere to live. I walked in at Summit, and um, the next day I had a place to live. So Edwin was a direct referral from our Summit Service Center. He was able to apply when our wait list opened, when we had some vacancies in our permit supportive housing program here at our Ogden Avenue site. Some of the things to qualify for the building are that you have a disability and that at one time you were experiencing homelessness and so he fit both of those criteria and he was able to apply and he got approved to move in. My, my father used to tell me if you have a roof over your head, clothes on your back and food in your stomach, you're rich. So that day I felt like I was rich because I had a place I could call home and um, clothes on my back and thanks to beds I've had plenty of food in my stomach. So for their mental health, it's really just a load off of them. Like you can see this, the relief in their shoulders, like there's like physical signs that you can see and just knowing that they don't have to fight anymore to figure out where they're gonna lay their head at night or where they're gonna get their next meal from. Giving me the tools that I need to work with, get my finances straight, they, they help me get my social security card. Um, they've helped me um, make a plan, uh, a plan as far as, um, which I'm not very good at following plans, I'll be honest with you, but they've given me the plan, which I call a tool, to help me um, take that next step up. So don't be afraid to walk in to that door in Summit, Illinois, because it could change your life like it did for mine. I think for permanent supportive housing, it's important to know that even though we get over the barrier of someone being homeless, that there are still new life skills that they have to learn. And just because that we've opened the door for a new apartment for them does not mean that all of their struggles automatically go away. There's new things that we find out every day from individuals that they have to overcome and that our case management team um, can help them with. You know, and I've come here um with no expectation. Anything that happens here is like, wow, I can't believe you guys do this for the people that come here. And I've met some friends through beds. Um, I mean, those are gonna be lifelong friends for me. And I'll do whatever I can to try to repay beds back for what they've done for me. You know, I, I'm, I'm extremely grateful. I mean, it's very diverse here, and I love that. Um, it's like nobody points out your well, it's like they celebrate, they champion their, their similarities instead of their differences, you know, and, and I love that about this place. But, um, yeah, I, I, being here, I feel like I'm, I'm a whole person again.